Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I am a fan of hot laser. So let's start today's video with one of the quotations of Joker. Why is so serious? See, you must be very serious about your gate 2020 exam and you are very tense. So here I am with 10 tips for your upcoming gate exam. And I think and I hope these 10 tips will definitely help you to improve your rank or to improve your marks or score in the gate exam. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here we have the tip number one, lock your target. So firstly, we have to decide how many marks you want to attempt on the day of gate exam. Suppose you uh, target for 60 marks or 70 marks. So let's say 60 marks. Then on the day of your examination, you will try to answer 60 marks, minimum 60 marks. After answering 60 marks, you will check the 60 marks and then you can go for uh, further marks. Okay, so setting a target is very essential and it will give you an idea how you can uh, prepare for the GET exam. So setting a target is very necessary in this exam. Here you get the next tip, tip number two. Be clear and confident about your strong parts and weak parts. So uh, I hope you have covered all the topics of uh, the GATE syllabus. Now uh, among them you, you may have completed fully classical mechanics or EMT and uh, quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, thermal physics etc etc etc. But you somehow you are lagging in some of the topics like atomol, uh, particle physics, nuclear physics. Then what you can do, you try to differentiate between your strong parts and your weak parts. Uh, the, the, the parts which are strong for you, you just need to brush them up and for the weaker parts what you need to do you just prepare some formula list and practice some previous year problem that will be sufficient for your get exam don't try to learn or uh, read something new for the weaker portions so that may affect your overall preparation uh, let's move to the tip number three so tip number three here is try to complete the short notes in two hours before the scheduled time of your get exam on daily basis so on uh, 1st of February, means on Saturday, you will have your gate exam from 9.30 uh, p.m. Sorry, 9.30 a.m. So what you can do, you can uh, start revising the short notes daily from 7.30 to 9.30. And you have to cover uh, the whole short notes in two hours. You have to build up, you have to build up a habit so that on the day of the examination, you can be able to complete the whole short notes in just two hours. So next tip, tip number four, make a habit of using the virtual calculator. You cannot use the virtual calculator smoothly on the day of your examination if you don't make a habit of using the virtual calculator. So I will recommend you to install the virtual calculator app from the Google Play Store and you need to practice problems using the help of the virtual calculator so that on the day of examination you don't get any confusion or any problem okay because uh, on the day of examination it may it may waste your time tip number five read the question carefully very carefully at least two times so while attempting the paper you must make sure that what exactly it is asking to you and what exactly you need to answer and notice carefully notice another thing that uh, how many decimal up to how many decimals you need to write the answer that is very essential if they are asking you to write only for only one decimal and if you write for two decimal then that will give you uh, zero marks because in uh, net type questions there is no negative marks so you will be given zero marks so here we have tip number six avoid illogical guessing or lame guessing so sometimes it happens that uh, a question which is common to you but you are not sure about the uh, options and you are not getting any logical reasoning behind choosing an option then you should avoid that particular question in 95 percent of the cases you will make a mistake okay so avoid uh, lame guessing or illogical guessing but a reasonable guessing is always entertained so here we have tip number seven don't get stuck in a particular problem 
Why I'm telling this? Suppose you are attempting a question, a complicated question from the electromagnetic theory. You spend 10 to 15 minutes in that particular problem. And let's say, for the sake of argument, if you find it correctly, then also you will be in great loss. Because after 10 to 15 minutes, there, uh, your mindset will be like that. I have to spend less time in the remaining question. And you will be in hurry and definitely, and it is quite um, definite that you will make silly mistakes in the uh, next questions. Okay, so it's better to uh, not to not to get stuck in a particular problem. If you are not able to solve, uh, imagine if it is a simple problem, just move on. Moving from question to question at a fast rate is very essential. Here we have tip number eight. Start with one last question from the physics section. So in the uh, physics section, you will be uh, given 25 one mark question. So start with that. So those questions are generally said very easy. So you will be able to solve them easily. So let's say after uh, 10, 10, 10 to 15 questions, you are not able to answer one question. Then two questions, three questions, four questions. Then there is a chance that you will get, uh, get demotivated. In that case, what you can do, you can go, to, go back to the general aptitude section. Because there you just need to uh, utilize your normal calculation and I hope and I think that you will be definitely able to solve some problems from the general aptitude section. Once you solve two or three or four questions from the general aptitude section, you will get, you will be motivated and you can again come back to your physics section and you can, you can try to attend the remaining questions and in this way your motivation will remain intact. Okay. So this is a backup plan. Tip number nine don't get nervous at no circumstances you don't need to be nervous at the examination hall a cool mind is the ultimate weapon in your examination hall if you get nervous on the in that particular three hours you'll regret for another uh, another year so don't get nervous whatever happens if you are able to do only 30 marks then also you'll not be they should not be nervous what you can do you just uh, leave your copy pen aside and uh, close your eyes and stay uh, without doing anything for five minutes and after that it's a kind of restart and i hope you will definitely be motivated again and you can start, you can have a fresh start after uh, three to four or five minutes okay so don't get nervous at any moment here, uh, the last tip of the day, at least for the last week, try to follow early to bed and early to rise routine. Because uh, for the physical students, I know that the examination will be held uh, early in the morning at 9.30. So if you don't make a habit of uh, rising early in the morning, it may create problem in the, on the day of examination. Because your body will not be able to cope up with the environment on that uh, day. So it may reduce your efficiency in solving or attempting questions and it will overall make your performance very poor. So I recommend, I recommend you to go to a bed early and rise early on the last seven days before you get a job. So for today, these are, um, these are some tips from my side. I hope you will be benefited if you follow these tips. And for any kind of questions regarding this get exam, you can comment down below. I'll be, uh, I'll try my best to answer them and uh, to give you some advice in case you need. If you are a new visitor of this channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. And finally, thanks for watching. Honor, respect. Look at you. What do you believe in, huh? What do you believe in? I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you. Stranger.